Ladies and gentlemen, space fans, rocket nerds, and anyone who still thinks Elon Musk is the only billionaire with a launch pad. Today, history just got a sequel, and this time, the author is Jeff Bezos. Yes, the man who gave us two-day shipping has now given us a two-stage standing ovation. Because Blue Origin's new Glenn Orbital class rocket booster has landed safely, elegantly, and impressively. Let's pause for a moment, because this is big, really big. Like Orbital class big, Blue Origin has officially become the second company in history to land a reusable orbital booster, right behind SpaceX. And if you're wondering why that matters, imagine if the Wright brothers invented airplanes, and then only one airline existed for the next 20 years. That's not innovation, that's a monopoly. Bezos just broke that monopoly. Cue applause. Now, let's give credit where credit is due. Jeff Bezos and his team have been at this for years. Tireless effort, never giving up. Honestly, if persistence were rocket fuel, New Glenn would already be halfway to Mars. Remember the jokes, the memes, the endless comparisons to SpaceX? People said Blue Origin was just a hobby project a billionaire's toy, a space company that moves slower than dial-up internet. Well, guess what? Toys don't land overall class boosters. And here's the kicker. Elon Musk himself once said that he didn't want to be the only commercial company heading to Mars. He wanted competition. He wanted someone else to share the cosmic burden of building humanity's future off world. Well, Elon, you may have just gotten your wish. Because with New Glenn's landing, Blue Origin isn't just playing catch-up. They're officially in the game and the scoreboard just lit up. So hats off to Blue Origin. Seriously, this is a milestone that deserves recognition. It's not just about rockets, it's about resilience, about proving that even when the world doubts you, even when Twitter roasts you, even when your rival is literally launching cars into space, you keep going, you keep building, you keep dreaming. And now, Jeff Bezos and his team have delivered. The new Glenn Gooster has landed, and the future of commercial spaceflight just got a lot more interesting. So here's to the engineers, the scientists, the dreamers, and yes, even the billionaire who decided that space was worth more than just a side hustle. Blue Origin, welcome to the club. SpaceX, you got company. Humanity, you got hope. And to everyone watching, strap in, because the race to Mars just got a second ticket. And this time, it's not just Elon Musk waving from the launch pad, it's Jeff Bezos too. Standing ovation, please. Thanks for watching space fans, don't forget to like, subscribe and tell me in the comments who do you think will plant the first flag on Mars? SpaceX? Blue Origin? Or maybe, oh, thanks to NASA Spaceflight for allowing us to use their material. Space Extra, out.